Hi, my name is Anne. I am a registered Republican and I did vote for Trump in 2016. I will probably never be a Republican again after November, but I'm not changing at this time because I wouldn't put it past the Arizona governor, uh, Governor Ducey, who is an ardent Trump supporter, to find ways to purge Democrats from the election rolls. So right now I'm a registered Republican that will be voting for Joe Biden. I, as I said, voted for Trump in 2016, but I was more voting against Hillary. I thought that Benghazi was a tragedy and I felt that Trump represented the unknown and how bad could it be? Well, now we know how bad it could be. Trump is the most efficient serial killer in the history of our country, accounting for the deaths of tens of thousands of Americans due to his inept lack of action with the COVID crisis. He is a sociopath, as diagnosed by his own niece, a clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist, one of the two. And there's a book out with 27 experts that basically said he is a sociopath and they felt that they had a duty to warn the country. This came out a couple of years ago and there's an update version. You can see it on Amazon. Uh, I also am very sad because uh, I am in my 50s and my oldest sister is in her 70s. She and her family are diehard Trumpers. I'm not sure how they can be. In fact, none of my family understands. And my 27-year-old daughter called her aunt up to ask how she could be still voting for Trump. Does she not have all the information? My sister uh, hung up on her, then proceeded to text me that she would probably never speak to my daughter again. I emailed her back saying that our parents would be rolling over in the gra in their graves because she put politics over family. And to make a long story short, uh, my sister and her family are no longer speaking to me or my family because of Donald Trump. Not only is he dividing America, he is dividing families. I will probably never speak to my sister or her family again. That's how bad it is. And that really makes me very sad. I can't believe they can be so stupid or not see all the horrible things he is doing. Uh, to put it succinctly, if you go, uh, if you look up at the Holocaust Museum, I think there's two and I forget which one there's from that this is from, but there is a list of 14 identifiers of fascism and Trump checks off every single box. If he wins in November, this country is destroyed. If he loses and it's not by a landslide, I believe he will do his best to not leave the White House. He will find a way to cheat and stay. And in that case, our country will also be destroyed. I have a young grandson and I want him to have a decent country to grow up in. I don't think that's going to be possible if we don't get Donald Trump out of office. He is a criminal. Most of his close circle are convicted felons. He's just in a position to pardon some of them now, which is, again, just ridiculous. Uh, he's evil. He's a sociopath. And he will be the death of America if he isn't ousted. So that's my story.